I wrote a list. I probably should have shown it to people, but yeah, I have like a, I was going to bed last night and I was like, what are the things that I'm thinking about this league? So, hi guys, Pie by Pie here. I just wanted to give you guys my thoughts on Heist since it's been out for a couple of days now and we've actually experienced our first major patch since the release. So, the first really big thing that people really hated about it, and I found this particularly hilarious because I'm playing in solo self-found for the first time ever, is that you can you could, up until a few hours ago today, body block someone from being able to get into or out of their stashes. Um, thank God that's finally over. We can now all get to our stashes with ease. And it's just like being in town, except with way more people and way more obnoxious MTXs. Um, so I want to talk about some of the things that I really like about Heist and then probably talk about some of the things that I have questions about or probably could see going down a bit differently. Um, so I'll start with the things that I really like and I kind of knew this one was coming. I really enjoy the overall flavor and the writing and the voice acting of the NPCs and the entire world in which the rogues live in and the, the harbor and even just like talking to NPCs about the boss that is, you know, runs the whole thing and trying to figure out who that might be has been pretty interesting. But yeah, the, the general feeling of this league has been full of atmosphere and definitely something that you feel very immersive. The um, loot has been really, really rewarding, even after the changes to the early level versions of heists, um, the loot can be really, really nice, especially even if you're just opening those little chests and you happen to get a chest with currency in it and you get like a really decent number of currency items popping out and playing solo self found, I'm really value valuing like low level currency, not just, you know, wanting exalts or chaos all the time. So that's definitely been a bonus. Uh, they also, the chance of encountering uh, fractured items is a huge, change i feel like you know synthesis and th synthesis related things are now making their way into the game more uh especially um it also feels a little bit like a make good for not making harvest go core um and that's okay i mean i i am one of the minority of people who's not so mad about that and i know they'll integrate the the mechanics of harvest in a meaningful way anyway uh, other things that I like are the bite-sized maps and it, it feels like a different experience to mapping because it's always linear but then there's all these different things that you can encounter about it and the different maneuvering of the uh, mo mobs that you'll encounter, the different types of bosses and unique enemies that you can encounter. They're not really bosses, they're more like mini bosses aren't they? Um, the, also the variation in zone size, so you can have a really small one or a really long one, um, it can have lots of different passageways to it. Um, the new zones with the lab laboratory type feel to them are very interesting. I wish I could spend more time in there, but I just got to run or like kill a lot of mobs and there's no way to like look around and poke around and learn more. Um, the I'm reading from a list, by the way. <laughs> Um, risk or, and reward from balancing like how many chests do I open versus like knowing which direction that you want to run in, whether you want to go into one of those specialized chests behind um, the NPC doors or if you want to prioritize finishing the quest so that you can level up your NPC skill uh, is a really interesting and uh, like thought provoking um, sense of gameplay that we haven't had to experience in maps and stuff because like yeah I guess you've got the choice of like do I full clear the map or do I just go for the month the boss at the end or you know there's probably some other things you can do anyway point is different thing and so overall I feel like heists feel very different having said that there's some things that I definitely want to know a bit more about um, probably one of the more annoying things for me has been that I keep getting stuck inside of doors. So I don't know what it is. Like if you, if your NPC is going to open a door and then you're like sort of waiting out of the way so that you don't get hit by blasts from the enemies who have piled up outside, 
I've actually just ended up inside of the door and then stuck, like I can't move and I've actually filed bug reports. So I'm really keen for them to one, acknowledge this and to do something about it. Um, the other thing is more like babysitting NPCs. So they, they need you to be right on top of them when they're doing their skill to open the doors. Um, especially the ones who get distracted and go after mobs or like a mob will come right up to them and like you're trying to taunt them but you don't want to kill too many mobs because uh the if you kill the monsters the alert meter goes up and you run out of opportunity to loot things um i personally haven't experienced that many blueprints and the ability to get too far into grand heists and their mechanics um i actually dropped my second one and i am level like nearly level 73 with my character um I did really enjoy the one grand heist that I did. I just kept it simple and just did like the one area and didn't unlock the rest of it because it was going to take like most of the markers that I had at the time. Um, so I'm keen to do the new new blueprint that I've dropped. Um, I feel like markers are super plentiful, but at this at the top end, there's probably too many of them because the the, the cost to actually run a heist doesn't scale the same. Um, that that's that being said like i don't think there's any point where i'm feeling like wish that i had more stuff it was just blueprints that i feel like i'm not encountering as much and i feel like i might be in the minority of that uh, i've missed out on the great drops at launch there was that was fixed like so quickly and so i went back to run sort of like an entry level like maybe level six seven or eight to see if i could drop some quick unique item like um a driftwood like a what yeah God, I can't remember the name of the wand that I've been trying to drop for like three days, but life sprig, um, drop a, drop a life sprig wand and I couldn't get anything because like the way that they nerfed it was they actually removed the boxes behind the doors. So now there are doors that go into empty alcoves in the like entry level heists and it feels pretty bad as a like beginning leveling character to go in and just like all there is is the end game thing that you need to run back. Um, and sometimes like a couple of chests, not even many chests, because obviously they know how many of those there are too. Um, it's, and it's not that I wanted to get like really easy wins or anything. I was prepared to like farm to get it. But the fact that it's not possible at all and the fact that there's like no special loot associated with it is kind of sad. Um, I feel like maybe that could have been done less harshly. Um... The other thing is like I've been swarmed in like really bottlenecked areas by mobs and there's no way to like kite them out or anything. Like maybe I'm going a little bit too gung-ho. Um, I guess, yeah, from from my experience of how the gameplay actually works, so I, my biggest sort of design gripe is that there's nothing in the game that directly explains things like the ratio of mob to the pre-lockdown loot or kills and how many you'll have to encounter on the way out and there's also like the progression between a regular heist and a grand heist seems unrelated like yes you can level up your npcs by doing the heists but for me in my head it makes more sense if blueprints blueprints were being dropped while we were doing heists rather than having them drop naturally out in the rest of ray class mapping and so on um it seems to me that they're two very disparate ideas and they're kind of like one should lead to the other rather than having, having them both drop concurrently. Uh, that's a kind of a me thing. Talismans are just always a disappointing reward. Um, and yeah, I guess the, f the final gripe for me, aside from the NPC glitching um, in the middle of their tasks, is probably the story heist thing. I actually kept one, so they look a little bit different. Oops, sorry. Um, they look a little bit different because they've got a green contract and you can't place them anywhere other than the old hack of placing them in your crafting bench. And if you rack up a few of them, they sort of just sit in your inventory taking up space um, and they kind of force you to go. And the problem is if you fail this, and I've failed them for being a little bit too greedy and going for too many boxes or something on my way out, um, you just have to wait for them to drop naturally again on your own. And I, um, there's a couple of other things that kind of bother me about them. And it's sort of like whenever you get a new one and you come to town, the 
guy who's heist it is. So in this case, uh, Huck is a client. You have to go and speak to Huck. I already cleared this with him. Sorry. He had like an exclamation mark over his head and he's like, I want to do this heist. And you're like, okay. And then you go back to Adia and you have to give her the physical object in order to hire him. What I wonder about like something to me that consider that I consider a quest rather than like a straight heist that is tied to an item is why does this have a physical object attached to it other than delivering you this flavor text, which is Enoch deserved better. This is the least I can do. Um, I think these particular ones are the ones that introduce the newer NPCs that don't come with um, the like start a lot because you start with three uh so the main frustration is i i still feel like i could get that from just rocking up in town having a quest um marker that said hey go talk to huck he's got a quest for you and then simply reporting back to Adia to initiate the quest without having to carry this object around to signify the quest and I feel like it could be um, less RNG based as to whether you drop the item out in rate class mapping and more like tied to leveling and, and sort of like a stricter progression to me. Uh, that's a personal preference and I'd really be curious to see what you guys think of that. So please let me know in the comments below. Uh, P.S. Uh, we are doing more baited expectations and there should be one coming up very, very soon. So please keep an eye out for that. Um, subscribe and you'll probably see the next one hopefully this weekend. This is being Pie by Pie. I will be doing another video very shortly on my starting build. So live free pie heart and I'll see you on the next one.